I think it's safe to say lambing has officially started again. Okay, that one was horrible. Oh, sorry. You really have to leave me lambing up to the professionals, which are the sheep. Beauty. Bad day to be a snake. <laughs> I don't have your baby, I swear. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Good mom. Finally, ladies. Didn't even notice this one. Got a little something. See, mama? Good morning. It's Monday. And as predicted, every single day for the last week, they finally started lambing. So I've got one lambing right now, and one had a beautiful set of twins. So I do have one, two, three pens ready, ready for action here. They're all bedded up. So I'm just gonna move that one lady with her twins in here, dip them up, see if they'll drink any milk, and then uh, keep my eye on that other one, which is beautiful. Today could be busy. <laughs> I moved her in here. I just am not sure when she started pushing. And if she's been pushing for an hour, I might not know. Uh, so I'm just gonna do an internal, see where this lamb is and if it's positioned right, and, uh, and go from there. Likely pull it. lamb is dead because that's why they don't help when the lamb isn't alive. Lamb's alive, they help. This lamb is not alive. But it's hard on them. So I'm just putting lube right in here. Keep pushing. Come 
off. And let's grip. Poor girl. <laughs> That is a big lamb. Sorry, Mama. <laughs> okay, that one was horrible. Um, problem with uh, a lamb, a stillborn lamb, it got caught with its head position, nose positioned down. So it was basically trying to lamb out the back, like, a back of its neck like that. Sorry, but I had to take my gloves off. I had no grip. Uh, so I got the I got a foot. I got the nose repositioned, which was not easy because she's tight. Um, I got the got the leg out. Got the head out. But that shoulder was stuck. Um, and the lamb. Usually, when the lamb is, you can get a shoulder popped out if the lamb is helping mom contract. But it wasn't. So it's like pulling out. Oh, it's like pulling out a rock. Like you just can't. There's, there's no help on the other side. She's in pain. I'm gonna load her up with painkiller right now. And an antibiotic just because I had to take my gloves off. But that lamb is a big, beautiful lamb and it's gone. So she may have been in labor for a while. There wasn't, you know, if I just came in, if Carissa came in and just looked at her, we'd be like, oh, water bag, perfect. She's just starting. But I had a feeling she looked like she was in pain. They get a look in their eye, they put their head down, and I mean, sometimes they do that anyway, but nice, healthy looking you. She shouldn't look like that, just in labor. She should look like she hates her life, but not, not the way she did. So, I'm gonna run and get her a painkiller. Could I put a lamb on her? Yeah, I'm not gonna. She is in massive shock right now. Sorry, mama. That's a big lamb. What are you saying? You having one too? You guys are all dropping at the same time. You look like you know what you're doing. Perfect. Whoa, that was fast. I went up to fix my uh, feed sheet for today. And she lands in that short of time. I knew you were a professional. You really have to leave me lambing up to the professionals, which are the sheep. Hello, gorgeous. Thank you. Thanks for being awesome. It's perfect. We moved Mama and she had a second. So we have twins. Doing awesome. I brought a bottle, but it's looking like looking like we're getting a drink. I did give Mama a painkiller. She's looking a little more alert now than she was. She's already cleaned, which is good. I was fully prepared. She was marked for three, so I was going to grab one of her lambs. That's kind of why I waited for her to lamb and see if she would take it, but she also is in a lot of shock, so... I didn't really want to overdo it either, but she only had twins, so twins can stay. I think it's safe to say lambing has officially started again, round two, and I couldn't be happier. I'm so tired. Um. Well, uh, I was able to get in the house, have some coffee and some breakfast and upload my video for today. And it's still not even eight o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Everybody looks happy. My mama's up. Oh, and she's looking for her baby. I'm sorry, mama. I don't think anyone's lambing. So I have a bit of a reprieve right now. I'm gonna maybe tag the lambs that were born uh, I don't know, this week. <laughs> oh, you're up, that's good. I gotta let this one out today. So what I might do is tag this bunch on this side that were born in the last few days. Might actually open up a little area for these guys so they're not in these uh, pens anymore. Hello, Red. I 
love her. Day to be a snake. So glad I was productive this morning and got those pens all set up and bedded because we have another baby. I was looking at her. Taxi has arrived. We do drunk lamb. We need the taxi for the drunk lamb. Yes, we do. Listen. Yeah. You stay. I know you want your baby. I know. Yeah. Here, come on, little lady. Come on, little lady. There you go. Well, baby wouldn't drink for me, but very interested on in getting on a mum, so I'm not real concerned. It's a single. Mom was marked for two, but. I couldn't feel another one in her. She is still quite massive though, but is a big lamb. This is the other thing I did this morning. So we started the second group. So these guys are all let out. Um, now this one belonged kind of to the first group, but I wanted it in the smaller pen uh, because I still have to keep an eye on it. I still have to help it up every once in a while. We are still supplementing this one right here and the blue ones, the Smurfs. Uh, and that's the one with the mum that was down. So I just supplement them and I supplement these triplets here. So this has been driving me crazy for weeks, if not months. The doorknob does not work the one way. And even going this way, you have to be very strategic. So Mark and I went to town and got a new doorknob. So guess what I'm going to do right now? Oh no, 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 no. Uh-oh. I just locked myself out. Oh, there we go. Woohoo! Old is out. 
어. 아. Well, it works. Works that way. Works that way. Yay! It's the small things, really. Oh, beauty. So sometimes you can uh, hear the sheep before you see them. I could hear this one on my camera even before I saw her. I was gonna curl up on the couch for a little napsy and I got all my stuff off, checked my cameras and she was progressing. Look at that mucus plug. Yes. <laughs> Your mom over there. Where were you on there? Go get her. Not that one. Good push. Good push. Good pushing. It's just like you, Mama. Oh, look. It looks exactly like you. Oh, there you go. Oh, Dad, mom. It's your baby. Hi, baby. Good mom. Oh. Push. Push. Good girl. Here you go. There's number two. I'm going to put them both together. Here. This is clean here. Hi, sweetie. Another little girl. Two little girls. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Good mom. It is another night check, and uh, today's been a, a long day. Very loud. I know. It's not around anymore. Oh. She's so sad. I don't have it, I swear. Oh, I love her so much. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> she is my best friend. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't have your baby, I swear. <laughs> oh, honey. I know. I don't have it. Tell me she wouldn't have been the best mom in the whole entire world. Well, I'm tired. So, I'm going through today's comments. 
Okay, this one is from Trevor Halverson. Sandy, being a 15-year-old sheep and cattle rancher working alongside my grandpa and father, I understand the good and definitely the bad. What I also know is how much of an inspiration you are to the ranching industry. You have even changed the ways my grandpa raises sheep. Thank you for all that you do. That is so... There's 14 replies. I love getting these comments, but I love reading how you guys comment back to to these people that are commenting on my videos. I It, it l literally warms my heart, so I love it. Thank you, Trevor. That is amazing. I don't hear that very often, or maybe I do, and I only listen to the ones that I feel kind of... Like, I get a lot of, I would never do it that way. <laughs> and I, I'm not about that. Like, that's not why, that's not why I'm on YouTube, really. I'm really, it's really not about my job at all. It's actually just so you can put a face behind some of these professions. So it's not really, as much as I'd love to be able to relate to other sheep farmers, the, the fact of the matter is we all do it differently. And I love the fact that we all do it differently because I can learn so much from other people that do do certain things a different way. Most people are very, very nice, but they do make a point of saying, but I would never do it that way. And I'm like, that's awesome. That's good. So you've just said it in a way that to me is very nice and very respectful. And I really thank you for that. Can you tell I'm like really emotional? I've just had a few things in the last few days that I'm like, why? <laughs> this one's from MC. Oh my gosh, Sandy, what would these animals do without you? You love them so much, and I am sure they love you back just as much. Your dedication to their well-being is so beautiful. It warms my heart. Your videos are often the highlight of my day. I watch with a constant smile on my face. Thank you for the joy you bring. That is equally as nice. Thank you for that. Um, you know, even today was such a heartwarming day that, that you that was literally traumatized this morning, that was a terrible stillborn birth and just her following me around tonight I'm like how do you not hate me like but they don't she just she wants her lamb she's like she's actually associating me with the fact that she can't find her lamb and she wants me to help and it's so heartbreaking but at the same time she was so sweet all day she was just following me around now it could be hormones but uh I do I love I do love them like truly love them and I know the profession is awkward that way because of how we what we're raising them for but when they're in my care I adore them and they do more for me probably than I do for them to be honest you guys are amazing this continues to be my favorite time of night I wasn't I did not want to come back out to the barn tonight I'm so tired um but I knew I had to feed those bottles and then I'm like oh but I can go up to my office and and uh, read your comments so uh, I do like upload days because I get to do this